British Columbia. Entry 2492 was 27th. 2493 was 12th. 2494 placed 20th. 2496 was 25th and won the Junior Bread Owned Award. Breezy Ridge Esprit Licorice Red, exhibited by Rachel Heffel of Epworth, Iowa. Entry 2497 was 17th. 2498 was 23rd. Entry 2499 was 14th in the second junior, style SA Atlanta Red, exhibited by Laura Burns of Poplar Grove, Illinois. Entry 2500 placed 7th, 2501 was 21st, 2502 placed 26th, entry 2503 was 18th, 2504 placed 13th, entry 2505 was 24th, 2507 placed 31st, entry 2508 was third in the class, Sunny Lodge Reality Megan Red, exhibited by Milk Source Genetics, Kaukana, Wisconsin. Entry 2511 was second in the class, Cordell Piccolo Dilly Red, exhibited by Amanda Thompson of Wellsville, Pennsylvania. Entry 2512 placed fifth and was the first junior, Raggy Amber Red, exhibited by Laura Emerson of Middletown, Delaware. Entry 2513 was 16th, 2514 was 28th, 2515 was 30th, 2516 placed 6th, 2518 was 9th. An added entry, 2925, placed 15th. Her name was Ms. Scratchwell Pinata. She was exhibited by Joliana Holsteins, Bill Scott, Matt Day, and E. Brothers of Conway, Missouri. Now in the ring in our Grand International Red and White Show is our Winter Heifer Calf class. The first place award in this class is presented by Style Holsteins, the Aves family of Poplar Grove, Illinois, and the Junior Award is presented by Red Crest Farm, Jake Skinner of Mercersburg, Pennsylvania. And for those of you following along in the Spring Heifer Calf and the Guernsey Show, um, we'll give you a minute to read those followings back for you. Number 1138 finished 14th. Number 1139 was a no-show. Number 1140 finished 9th. Number 1142 finished 10th. 1143, 6th. 1145, 5th. 1146 finished third and was our second place junior finisher, Prairie Moon Y. Antibella, presented by Lars Landon and Leslie Syveson of Wacon, Iowa. Number 1147 finished fourth. 1149, twelfth. 1150, sixteenth. 1151, thirteenth. Entry 1152 was our second place finisher, Guernsey Prairie Pie Shaley, presented by Guernsey Prairie Farms, Scott and Lindsay Weisensell of Marshall, Wisconsin. Entry 1155 was our first in class winner, our best bred and owned, and our first place junior finisher, R. Way Y.B. Tootsie, presented by Amber Dietz of Southington, Ohio. Entry 1156, 19th. Entry 1157, did not show. Entry 1158, 18th. Entry 1159, 7th. Entry 1160, 8th. Entry 1161, 11th. Entry 1162, 15. And entry 3016, 17th. There were a total of 20 entrants in the Spring Heifer Calf Guernsey Show. One other entry from that show, entry 1153 was... Entry 1153 did not show. Now on the show floor for the Guernsey Show, the Winter Heifer Class. The first place award will be presented by Hillcrest Alfalfa of Campbellsport, Wisconsin. And Cross League Guernseys of Sherburn, Minnesota will present the Junior Award.
If you turn your attention to the Grand International Red and White Show Ring, Judge Little has completed his placings in the Winter Heifer Calf Class. We'd like to acknowledge those juniors that did well, our first and second place juniors. Second place junior is entry number 2533, Highborn Ad Pepper, 2027 Red, exhibited by Kyle Cacciola of Cobleskill, New York. She also wins the Junior Bread Known Award. First place junior is entry number 2527, Ducket P. Lydia Red, exhibited by Cal DeWitt of Clinton, Wisconsin. And in our open show, placing third in the class and also winning the Bread Known Award, is entry 2537, Westphalia RR Astonish Red, exhibited by Charles Westfall, Brownsville, Wisconsin. Second in the class is entry number 2536, KHW Regiment Apple A2 Red, exhibited by the Apple Partners of Edgerton, Wisconsin. And winning the class is entry number 2524, Ducket P Lucky Red, exhibited by Milk Source Genetics of Kakana, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Judge Little, your comments. What another tremendous class in the winter calf class all the way down through. Uh, but we're starting a class today with this heifer. You just love the length. She's got the long neck. She's long body. She's got a long, wide, flat rump. And, and just giving her the advantage in the overall length. And she's a little cleaner through the thigh today than the calf following her in second. Another calf, a tremendous length, tr tremendous head and neck on her. And a calf uh, giving her the advantage second over third. Just on the width and the levelness from her hooks to her pins today than the, another beautiful beautiful calf we have following her in third. Uh, third over fourth, uh, just on her length. She's a little longer in her body. She's a little longer in the length of her rump than the beautiful ribbed calf we have coming in fourth. Uh, this fourth place calf, you admire the front end on her. What a beautiful uphill run. Beautiful depth to her fore rib. A calf you can maybe just lengthen out just a little bit, but a beautiful dairy calf. And she uses her advantage in her front end. She's just more upstanding today, more depth, a little more spring to her fore rib than the calf we have following her in her fifth. And then fifth over six, the calf just a little cleaner all the way throughout. And it, as they stand still, maybe just a little more correct in the way the tail sets and the lovely calf we have in six. A really long calf, just a calf you'd maybe have to clean up a little bit in the head and neck to get her any higher. But a tremendous class of winter calves.